All right, everyone, welcome back. Um, as we go into my smaller parts of the collection, you will see that I have some uncommon or not as important items. To me, I like the smaller, unique items. Um, I know you can find these all day long on like military sites. Um, there's nothing fancy about this one. All it is is a U.S. Army blanket. As you can see here, the date that it was made, April 24th, 1942. As far as I can tell, it's unissued. It's 100% wool. There's nothing crazy about this flag, or this uh, blanket. I just saw it at an antique store. Figured it was an essential part of the war effort. You know, you have to keep yourself warm, which is why I picked it up. I don't have it unfolded uh, fully because, it's, again, there's nothing significant about it. I don't think it was ever issued, but my collection is going to have weird things and things of not importance, and, and this is one of them. Um, because of that, I'll go ahead and do a couple smaller items that I have. So here you have a 48-star American flag. It would be something they handed out during parades, um, stuck out in graves stuff like that very decent good condition um i say decent to good because it's fairly white not a lot of staining but uh yeah i also was able to find it is a 1942 u.s navy pictorial book and i'm careful to open this but as you can see, it has Navy ships in its description, um, the different kind of classes of ships. Never seen anything like this. Was at an antique store, saw it, decided to pick it up because, um, you know, it's something different. Like I said, I like having unique and odd stuff. Here, we have a mess tin. You can actually see that someone, maybe, engraved their name and military number. Um, when I had this all unwrapped, it was dated 1917 at the start of the war. We didn't have a lot of newer stuff. We were using stuff from World War One, And the mess tin happened to be one of the things that just got transferred over. No reason not to use it. We also have a U.S. Army bag. Uh, there was nothing in it just a little bag I'm assuming they used to carry maps binoculars something like that in there not a hundred percent sure um, there was not a lot of information to find out I didn't see it in any of the uniforms not exactly sure what it would have been used for another odd item that I have is foot powder obviously it was essential for soldiers to keep their feet dry so that way they went uh, get a trench foot and stuff like that it's dated December 19th 1942 there is still foot powder in it if you move the can too fast it will actually come out I have sand from I Iwo Jima that's from Dan King he collected it from where the Marines landed I then have a medical uh, bottle from Normandy I got that uh, before I get it too far ahead of myself the blanket like I said was from an antique store the mess tin was from an antique store foot powder and the book were from an antique store same with this the vials the first thing that I actually got that was from Gettysburg Museum of History uh, I have another item that I'm trying to find that I'm not sure where it's at at the moment okay I found it this is a bolt from the Higgins boats that used uh, that it came from Omaha Beach obviously the Higgins boats were used to bring our troops on to shore during the invasion I also have sand from Omaha Beach. Um, 
I have sand from Iwo Jima. Both of these two came from the Museum of Gettysburg. I have a couple patches here, quite a few patches actually. They came in a bundle. I do know what these are. Um, I have them in my book, which is currently covered by other items I have to go through. If anybody's interested in the patches, I'll gladly make a video going over what they are. I know one of them has links to Wisconsin. I believe it's this patch. Don't quote me on it though. I could be very wrong. Now these aren't from World War II, but they're postcards. Um, obviously B-29s were heavily used. I have this one of Doc because Doc was the first B-29 that I saw in person at EAA. I did end up seeing Fifi a few years later. Again, B-17, heavily used during World War II. I actually plan on taking a flight on one this upcoming year at EAA. Again, not from World War II, just just showing um, planes that were used. I went and took pictures, have a couple framed up. I uh, have another patch here. This piece is actually a piece of a barrage balloon that they would hang up at Normandy after the invasion. It was to prevent fighters from coming and strafing down the troops and attacking the troops. Um, that's all I have for smaller items that I want to include in this. I did find a spot that I could make a dog tag. Uh, I went off of my grandpa's, the closest I could get. It's got his name, military number, and his religion. There was um, supposed to be another spot that went there. I don't remember what it was offhand, but there's a little website, I don't remember what it's called, that you can go and make a replica of the dog tags from your grandparents if you don't have any. So yeah, that is well, most of my odd stuff. I have a couple others in a different spot, but they're my, my items. Again, unique. Doesn't have to be of much importance for me. For me, it's more about the history. Hopefully y'all enjoyed.